Hey piggy people. So I just wanted to do a little update about what's going on. So Velvet went the other day to have her teeth trimmed so her molars were great. It was just her incisors keep growing weird. So the one that was cracked is way thinner than the one beside it. The other one beside it has grown super thick and then her incisors once again were growing all slanted. So We'll see how they come in this time because they had to grind them down pretty far again so that we can hopefully have like six weeks between trims. So we're going to see what happens this time but she might be a pig that for whatever reason needs her incisors trimmed about every six weeks. So she's doing a lot better this time than she was last time. I think she learned some skills of how to get food in her mouth from the last time. Because we're only on day two and she's uh, picking stuff up herself. She has to really try hard to grab the hay herself. Because she needs to grab it from the end. And sometimes she was trying to grab it from the middle. But she's got such short teeth in the front that she can't maneuver it. But if she puts her mind to it, she's been grabbing hay and she's grabbing veggies. So I've been cutting the veggies in small pieces for quite a while actually. So I'll just keep doing that and she's been grabbing stuff and I've been hand feeding her extra and she's in a lot better mood this time than last time. Last time we had her teeth done she was staying to herself, kind of staying in bed and not socializing with the other pigs and it was really tough for her feeding schedule because she wouldn't eat anything on her own. So I'm very thankful that she's doing well this time. Um, and Reese here uh, still has the opening for her where her abscess was. Kind of just looks like a really enlarged pore. It hasn't filled up again. It just has like a little bit of fluid leak out, like lymph fluid. And I just wipe it every morning and night with some saline on a little cotton round just to keep it clean. I think I'll probably take her for a recheck next week because we stop her antibiotics next week. So she was on antibiotics for two weeks while her abscess was filled and then now we'll be on two weeks of antibiotics since it's ruptured. So yeah, next week is when we're supposed to be stopping so I want to make sure everything looks good and see where we go from there. So her one bottom incisor, the right one, the one that was causing the trouble at first, where, well at least where that's where the pus was, has grown a bit longer than the left on the bottom. Because when she had the pressure of the abscess, her incisors on the bottom were kind of turning to the left from all that pressure. So it wasn't hitting her top teeth right to wear down, but now that it's centered again, it is a bit longer. So I'm just trying to wait to see if that goes down but that's something I can address at the vets if we go next week to see if it needs any trimming or if it's going to naturally wear down. So that's kind of about it where we're at right now for these guys. It's just nice that Velvet's oh, she's kind of throwing stuff around there that she's doing better already so cocky don't be bopping around because last time was so stressful, it was like easily a solid two weeks of me feeding her all on my own. And then the third week was a mix of me and a mix of her starting to eat. So, yeah. She's doing well. And there's little Autumn, she's eating her veggies. So she's just waiting for Annabelle's foot to be healed so that I can introduce her to these guys. Hard to see, but Annabelle's over there. Her foot's looking a lot better. The swelling's gone down, and now we have a little circular scab that's slowly getting smaller and smaller. So we're getting there maybe another week, and she'll be good, and then I can introduce the girls. I also think Annabelle I maybe have to take to get her assessed for arthritis. She kind of hops with her back legs versus walking with them. So I wonder if uh, her foot problems did stem from having arthritis, from standing differently. So we'll figure that out. But for right now, she's doing well. And there's little Buzzman giving me the side eye. 
and then little Annie. Oh, Autumn's back to her hay. Look how big the little baby pig is. She's so gorgeous. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!